Welcome to winemastery.co.uk I'm a bit dubious about what we're actually doing when you say it like that. <laughs> we're here to tell you all about wine! <laughs> thank goodness, thank goodness! All about wine and help you find the wine, if not the wines you will absolutely love. <laughs> You're doing it again. You're doing it again. <laughs> no, it's right. Film video. <laughs> <laughs> so this is part one of our High Street Carmen Air yep. episode, and the first one we're trying is a Tesco's finest. It is indeed. Not just Tesco's, but their finest. Mm, one of the best for you. Oh, what? <laughs> so, should we get to it? Yeah, yeah let's have, have a look at it. Mm -hmm. What year is this one? Uh, this is uh, this is the youngest of them all. So this okay. is the 2016. 2000 uh, is young. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, yeah, very young. Uh, I think this grape was in a field last last year. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just this time around. last year. Yeah. yeah. Minding his own business. Yeah. And then what? Someone comes around and steps on it. Poor thing. Poor thing. Oh uh, no! Yeah, they died in a good cause. <laughs> Once he starts. Uh, yeah, so he's got that bright ruby colour. He has. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I can't find your purple ring. <laughs> Thank goodness for small blessings. Yes. We are, yes, it's definitely not purple. <laughs> no, I can't see that on this one. It's very dark though. It's, it's very dark. It's yeah. very dark. Um, but yes, yeah, no, it's nice and bright, nice and bright. You can see through eventually. I'm having a smell of this. Okay, so am I. <clears throat> right. Oh. Mm. Quite light on the. Uh... It's, it's, not, it's not full on, is it? It's not. In your face, there, but, but it's quite. It's got a, like a licorice y smell. I was trying to do your trumpet thing, but it doesn't work for me. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, we go like that. Oh, yeah, and you can kind of pick different bits up. It's just like on the end. It's on the end, like when you pull it away, you can get the more subtle. Mm. See, for me, that's got a, che a, a, a cherry hue about it again, which. Uh, I mean, Carmen Air is a fairly new thing in the wine world, is the Carmen Air as well. It was. Um, a lot, a lot of people apparently used to crop it as a male, or I thought it was a male because it looked like a male. But I think it was an Australian gentleman who was in Chile and saw this, and he said, "You know, that's not male," because they're also putting in, blending it with a lot of the wines to give it the backbone and the kind of aging potential. Uh, uh, but then this fellow came along and said, "No, this is Carmen Air," and, and, and started doing it only as far back as like ten years ago. Really? So when it first came out, this it was it's quite a, a new thing in the wine world. Well, only ten years. Yeah, it's only been going ten uh, years. As a single varietal, yeah. Good grief! I know. Wow. When it first came out, uh, it did, you know, took the wine world by storm. There was people going wild for it, and it was delicious. Um, so anyway, let's let's have a little test and see if this okay. is delicious. Cherry? Mhm. Mm Here it comes through again. I'm getting more plummy in there as well. Are you? And that licorice really comes on the end. Licorice. Licorice. Mm. Mm. You mean the taste of liquid, not the consistency? The consistency no, 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 the taste, yeah, the taste, yeah. Yeah. I can't uh -huh. get that. Oh, it's alright, alright. No. Mm. Fouled. I fouled. Mm. No, you haven't, no, you haven't. Oh, there might be more, no, that's just my take on it. Right. It might not be there. <laughs> but that's just what I am. I don't know how to describe it. That tart richness of licorice. Okay. Um. But, in fairness, it it itchy, but there's not much. It's kind of hint of an aftertaste, but it doesn't really carry on. No, it doesn't. No, it sort of fools you. It teases you. Yeah. Yeah, and then it's not there. I know. Lulling to false sense of security. Yeah. Well, it's. Well, you can like. Yeah, and it's, it's the like spiciness as well. Hmm. Well, for me, that's a nice wine, but it's a, it's it's what I'd refer to as a table wine, or you know, to eat with a meal. It's, it's not something that I'd want to sort of. Uh, you, uh, drink and savour on its own. No, I'm really getting into. No. Because there's not, not that much to really get into. No, on, uh, I guess you're one dimension. Mm -hmm. Direction. Dimension, that's the one, yeah. Yeah, it, it's okay. Does what it says on the tin. Yeah, nothing wrong with it. No. Nope. Nothing wrong with it. Um, which, which then would come down to a price. Okay, of course. I don't know the price. No, I don't. But it will be on your screen. Oh, no. Oh, on your screen. 
<laughs> What's the magic? Um, last year, we, last week we introduced out of a hundred. We, we? we did, we yeah. did, yes, out of a hundred. So out of a hundred, am I going first or are you going first? Uh, uh, ladies first. I think we should go to thousands because I think it's 53.6. Mm. Yeah, you might be close to that. Mm. Do we need to know price? Oh no, we did it pre pricing then. Yeah. I'd say, as a wine, for me personally, 64. 64? 64, 64 as a, uh, not knowing a price. I think, seriously, I'd go just literally 57. Well, that's just because of my, my personal uh, palette, and partly because I. I normally love Carmenere, and this, this just hasn't floated my boat in no. the same way it normally, uh, Carmenere normally does. Mm. So a little bit disappointing for me, but that's just my palette. Yeah, I'll get, I bet I'd have to completely agree with you. Now, if we were to... Oh, we don't know a price, though, do we? No, we don't know a price. This is so blind. Well, I, I, I could... Do you want me to roll first? Go for it. Okay, so Tesco's, so it's yep. going to be competitive. Um, it's from the finest range, which sometimes, strangely... Not strangely, but sometimes puts it up a little bit. And sometimes um, it's very difficult to judge their finest pricing strategy. Um, but I'm going to put that at um, £6.50. Yeah. I, I, I'd probably, I'd go a bit lower, I'd say six. Okay. I'd say six. Right. So, let's say it was £6.50, would you pay £6.50 for that? I have. <laughs> if you were now to know what it tasted like, how would you? Uh, no, I think that there are some other wines, including some Tesco wines, I have to say, that uh, that sort of price that I would prefer for £6.50, for my own personal taste. Yeah. Yeah, I'd have to agree. Yeah? Yeah. Not my thing. It's Carmenere, definitely Carmenere. Yeah. Um, but for me, just okay. Yeah, for me, a nice wine to eat at a table, a drink uh, with something to eat, uh, pasta or whatever, be very nice. Uh, but not something that I'd want to sort of savour uh, just with, you know, just drinking it on its own. No. Okay, well, that's disappointment. But guys, you know, that's our palette, uh, and you may well, well like it. But uh, there we are. Okay. We're honest. We are, if nothing else. If nothing else, hmm. yes. Okay, dokes. So, well, let's hope number two offers a little bit more. Fingers crossed. We'll see you in part two. Chin chin. Chin chin.